Tucker Carlson's revelations about the attempted assassination of Donald Trump On July 13, 2024, an attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump during a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, shocked the nation and ignited a whirlwind of speculation and controversy. This attack, which narrowly missed ending Trump's life, has been the subject of intense debate and numerous conspiracy theories. Prominent conservative commentator Tucker Carlson has recently made explosive claims regarding the attack, suggesting that it might be part of a broader, more sinister plot. This comprehensive analysis explores the details of the assassination attempt, Carlson's allegations, and the historical context that adds layers of intrigue to the event. The attack. The rally in Butler was a pivotal event in Trump's campaign, aimed at securing support in a crucial swing state. Despite the Secret Service's awareness of potential vulnerabilities at the venue due to the concurrent NATO summit in Washington, they faced significant resource constraints. This situation contributed to a lapse in security, allowing Thomas Matthew Crooks, a 20-year-old from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, to position himself on a rooftop near the rally. Armed with a legally purchased AR-15 rifle, Crooks fired multiple shots at Trump as he delivered his speech. One bullet grazed Trump's ear, prompting immediate action from the Secret Service agents stationed at the rally. They quickly neutralized Crooks, but not before he had fired several more shots, resulting in one death and several injuries among the crowd. Despite the gravity of the situation, Trump was taken to a nearby hospital and, after treatment, was declared in stable condition. His swift recovery and continued campaign activities highlighted his resilience, but the event left many questions unanswered. Tucker Carlson's Claims In a recent interview with The Daily Signal, Tucker Carlson made several bold claims regarding the assassination attempt. Carlson, known for his provocative statements and influence in conservative media, suggested that the attack might not have been the work of a lone gunman, as the media initially portrayed. Instead, he implied that there could be a more complex and sinister conspiracy behind the incident. Carlson's allegations included criticism of the media's role in the event. He argued that figures like Joe Scarborough, a well-known television host and political commentator, might have contributed to creating a hostile environment that could incite such violence. Carlson also expressed doubts about the effectiveness and integrity of the Secret Service's response, pointing out that Crooks had been identified as a person of interest before the attack but was not apprehended in time. These claims have stirred significant controversy and debate, challenging the official narrative and prompting discussions about possible hidden agendas. Secret Service and Security Concerns Carlson's criticisms have primarily targeted the Secret Service, suggesting that their handling of the situation was inadequate. According to Carlson, the agency had identified Crooks as a potential threat over an hour before the shooting. Despite this early warning, Crooks was able to position himself on a rooftop and open fire on Trump. The Secret Service has firmly denied these claims, maintaining that their response was appropriate and that they acted within their procedural guidelines. They have rejected the existence of a Secret Service agent named Jonathan Willis, who Carlson implied might have been involved in a cover-up or failure to act. The agency's official statements have emphasized that their primary focus was on protecting Trump and responding to the immediate threat. Conspiracy Theories The assassination attempt on Trump has fueled a range of conspiracy theories, reflecting the polarized and speculative nature of modern political discourse. One prominent theory involves a suspicious financial filing by Austin Private Wealth, an investment firm. Just one day before the attack, Austin Private Wealth made a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, that appeared to bet on a drop in the value of Trump Media and Technology Group shares if Trump were killed. This filing was quickly identified as a clerical error, according to the firm, but the timing led to speculation about possible connections to the attack. Another theory suggests involvement by a so-called deep state, a term used to describe alleged covert factions within the government working against Trump. This theory gained traction among some right-wing groups and was further amplified by conspiracy theorists like Alex Jones. According to this narrative, high-ranking officials orchestrated the attack to eliminate Trump as a political threat. These theories have been bolstered by various factors, including alleged connections between the shooter and prominent investment firms, and claims about the Secret Service's possible complicity or negligence. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, these speculations have contributed to the ongoing debate surrounding the assassination attempt. Historical Context the attempt on Trump's life has drawn comparisons to other significant events in American history, adding depth to the discussion and fueling further speculation. The assassination of President John F. Kennedy on November 22, 1963, is one of the most notorious examples. Lee Harvey Oswald, identified as the lone shooter, was quickly apprehended, but his murder by nightclub owner Jack Ruby just two days later added layers of mystery and led to numerous conspiracy theories. Despite the Warren Commission's conclusion that Oswald acted alone, skepticism persists, with theories suggesting possible involvement by the CIA, the Mafia, or foreign governments. Similarly, the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln on April 14, 1865, has been surrounded by conspiracy theories. John Wilkes Booth, a Confederate sympathizer, shot Lincoln at Ford's Theater as part of a broader plot to destabilize the Union government. 
Booth's co-conspirators had plans to attack other key officials, but their efforts were thwarted. Theories about the involvement of powerful bankers who allegedly opposed Lincoln's economic policies have mirrored modern-day speculations about hidden forces influencing political events. The attempted assassination of President Ronald Reagan on March 30, 1981, also adds to this pattern of intrigue. John Hinckley Jr., driven by an obsession with actress Jodie Foster, fired shots at Reagan in an attempt to impress her. Hinckley's unstable mental state and the theories about connections to high-ranking officials, including alleged ties to Vice President George H.W. Bush, have contributed to ongoing speculation, despite the lack of substantial evidence. The Impact of Carlson's Claims Tucker Carlson's claims about the assassination attempt have had a significant impact on public discourse. His suggestions of a broader conspiracy challenge the official narrative and have sparked extensive debate about media influence, security failures, and political discourse. Carlson's statements reflect the current polarized nature of American politics, where even well-documented events become subjects of intense speculation. Carlson's criticisms of the Secret Service and media have resonated within conservative circles, fueling discussions about the integrity of security agencies and the potential for hidden agendas. His allegations have also highlighted the role of media figures in shaping public perception and contributing to a climate of hostility that could lead to violence. The ongoing debate underscores the complex relationship between fact and speculation in modern political discourse. As new information emerges and investigations continue, the event remains a focal point for discussions about political security and media responsibility. In conclusion, the assassination attempt on Donald Trump has become a multifaceted event, intertwining with broader themes of conspiracy, media influence, and political intrigue. Tucker Carlson's revelations have added layers of controversy to an already complex situation, reflecting the challenges of navigating truth and speculation in today's polarized political climate. The attempted assassination of Donald Trump on July 13, 2024, has become a pivotal moment in American political discourse, sparking intense debate and a swirl of conspiracy theories. As the former president narrowly escaped a fatal attack during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, the incident has reverberated through the media and political landscape, drawing comparisons to past assassination attempts and fueling ongoing speculation about hidden agendas. Tucker Carlson's recent statements have significantly influenced the public's perception of the event. By suggesting that the attack might be part of a broader, more sinister plot rather than the work of a lone gunman, Carlson has reignited discussions about the integrity of the Secret Service, the role of media figures, and the potential for deeper political machinations. His claims that the Secret Service failed to act on early warnings and his criticisms of media figures like Joe Scarborough have challenged the official narrative, adding layers of controversy and intrigue to the incident. The attempts to connect the attack to financial maneuvers, such as the questionable SEC filing by Austin Private Wealth, and the speculation about a deep state conspiracy reflect the broader trend of attributing significant political events to hidden forces or covert operations. These theories, while often lacking concrete evidence, tap into a cultural narrative of mistrust and suspicion that characterizes contemporary political discourse. Historically, the assassination attempt on Trump parallels other major political events, such as the assassinations of Presidents Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy. Each of these events has been shrouded in mystery and speculation, leading to various conspiracy theories about the motivations and actors involved. The comparison underscores a recurring theme in American history, the tendency to seek deeper explanations for high-stakes political violence. The broader implications of the Trump assassination attempt are significant. It highlights the challenges of ensuring political security in a highly charged and polarized environment. The lapses in security that allowed the shooter to position himself with a high-powered rifle and the criticisms of the Secret Service's response point to potential weaknesses in protecting public figures. This scrutiny may prompt reforms and a re-evaluation of security protocols to prevent similar incidents in the future. Moreover, the event reflects the current state of media and political discourse. Carlson's provocative claims and the subsequent media coverage illustrate how political narratives can be shaped by influential figures and how conspiracy theories can gain traction in a climate of distrust. The debate over the attack illustrates the complexities of modern political reporting and the challenges of separating fact from speculation. In summary, the attempted assassination of Donald Trump has not only been a dramatic and alarming event, but also a catalyst for broader discussions about political security, media influence, and the nature of conspiracy theories. As investigations continue and new information emerges, the full impact of the attack on Trump and its implications for American politics will continue to unfold. The interplay between fact and speculation, historical parallels, and the role of influential voices in shaping public perception will remain critical areas of focus in understanding this significant moment in contemporary history. History.